Hello and welcome back to Somo Diecast. My name is Ron. Well, as you can see on the turntable today, we have a Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. This was an incredibly popular car back in the 60s. And when the movie came out with Dick Van Dyke and everybody in that, it was a fun little movie to watch. I still watch it from time to time. And I found this poor little play-worn, beat-up example in a flea market. And it didn't cost me a lot. And miraculously, everything, as far as the uh, wings and so forth, were still with it. But uh, Caraticus and uh, Truly and the kids were not. It's also missing the windshield and the headlights and a few other items in there. But uh, I'm working on sourcing those from uh, some other examples where maybe it wasn't quite as complete, but it did have some of the features like the headlights and the windshield and so forth. And maybe a, a complete uh, horn on the side. Anyway, this is our project, so let's get it blown apart. We're gonna take a look at the pieces and parts and see what we can do about bringing back this beautiful little car. So, everybody, please stay tuned. Well, we got our little chitty chitty bing bang all blown apart. <coughs> the uh, body on this one's a little rough. There's some rough spots in it, but uh, it's mostly it's just play worn. So it ought to clean up really nicely. I already drilled it and tapped it for 172 screws, which I have not put in yet. And our engine cowling and hood, a little rough, and it's missing the windshield. So got a little work to do there. And with the grill also, headlights are missing. Afraid to bend it too much, but I think it'll be all right, gotta I have to work on some headlights and our interior. Again, again, a little play worn, a little beat up, but <clears throat> I have a solution. And we're missing part of the horn and uh, that mounts on the side, and it's detached from the interior, which normally that would be attached. We have our did it. We did manage to hold on to the front and rear wing as well as the wings that pull the pull out wings. We did, it was just need a lot of cleaning up, and our base, which is just a little on the rough side, but uh, overall not terrible. Husky models, chitty chitty bang bang, made in Great Britain. So we're in pretty good shape all the way around with parts. And we got our wheels off and the tires removed. The wheels themselves are not in terrible shape. They will clean up nicely and they will be getting a coat of red paint. So that's gonna look nice. And I've already made the little indent in the end of each axle so that I can, when I paint it back on, they will be a little easier to paint on. And the tires, they just need a little cleaning up. Man, they were hard to remove, I can tell you that. Those are vinyl, and they did not want to come off, but I managed to get them off without destroying them. I think I scored that one just a little bit, but hey, the backside looks great. <laughs> anyway, that is the pieces and parts. Now, I did manage to acquire Caraticus and Truly and the kids. So when we put this back together, they're just gonna pop into that interior and look really nice. Something else I was able to acquire was another hood with an intact windshield. Had one little crack right here, but overall, I think it's in pretty good shape for what we're trying to do. A little brittle, but once it's cleaned up and painted, I think it's gonna look really great. The other thing I was able to acquire 
with a complete interior with barely hanging on the horn and the uh, the uh, brake so and the steering wheel which was missing from my other one so when we get rid of these parts and replace them with these parts the only thing I've got left to do is the grill and I'm looking right now trying to find a replacement grill for that that maybe hopefully has the headlights so we got a little work to do but we got enough that we can build this thing all right well let's get that casting in the stripper and get that cowling cleaned up and the grill cleaned up and we will get this build going down the road everybody please stay tuned
Well, before we get to the reveal, we're going to take just a moment and look back where we started. This is a Husky model version of the uh, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang from the movie. So, it uh, is very play-worn, but um, let's go ahead and get to the reveal, and we will see what I was able to do with this beautiful little car. Everybody, please, stay tuned. Well, we have our little Husky Chitty Chitty Bang Bang all finished up. This was uh, a lot of fun, and it was supposed to be a restoration, but as you can see, I got a little carried away with the detailing, and uh, it was coming out so nice, and uh, actually, my wife and I re-watched the movie just to uh, get a little better look at the at the car and, and, and kind of get into the mood for uh, doing the restoration, but... I went ahead and painted the wheels red, just like in the movie, and, or the movie car. And then when we, uh, when I did the the hood, I went ahead and detailed the windshield and the grill and the lights and the tail lights and the exhaust manifold and even uh, even the horn and the. Uh, shifter and the brake on the side and yeah yeah i just yeah kind of went nuts i also did a little in detailing on the interior but you know what this was just a ton of fun and i couldn't pass it up uh once i had acquired all of the pieces including Caraticus, truly jeremy and jemima uh then uh it just yeah, I thought, you know, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it right. So uh, here it is. Uh, I see one of my wings is folded back on itself a little bit. But they do work. They open and close. I'll open that one up. There we go. And anyway, this was just a ton of fun. It's been sitting around on my bench for quite a while. And, and I've been acquiring parts slowly. Uh, it took several... Uh, flea market trips and luck and a couple of uh, eBay purchases to acquire everything I needed. The figures only need a little bit of touching up. The uh, windshield on the original, if you remember, it was completely gone and I found an, a complete car. Actually found two of them. One that had all of the uh, the front and rear wings, and the, and another that had a complete uh, grill. Another one that had a complete uh, windshield, and and the, the uh, complete interior with the horn and everything on the side of it. So uh, it was quite the uh, quite the adventure, just like the movie, I guess. Anyway, I hope you like this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not currently a subscriber, I hope you will. And when you subscribe, be sure you ring the bell so you've been notified of future builds when they're available. And be sure you share with your friends. Well, thank you all again for watching, and I will see you in the next.